Laura and Liz here. Um, I'm in a different location, as you can tell, I'm in my car. Um, the lighting was good here and I've stopped for a break, so um, as you can see I've got my chair in the back there. Um, this is a Renault Kangoo, it's um, my little car, or van, um, and I'm just on my way back from Nadex. Um, Anyone who doesn't know, Nadex, um, it didn't happen last year obviously because of COVID, but um, Nadex is a conference, um, two day conference usually, uh, for all things mobility, wheelchairs, that kind of thing. Um, and it's in the week, which everyone I know, including myself, thinks that's a bit weird because that means a lot of people can't go. Um, but um, it was the NEC in Birmingham, um, so easy to get to. Um, I got a bit lost trying to find disabled parking because obviously it's a disability event there's a lot of people wanting blue badge parking um therefore it was quite confusing but i found my way um so it was a really big event um like masses of stalls everything from like little gadget accessories right up to like camper vans for wheelchairs which is incredible but i'm not rich <laughs> and also um like mobility cars, um, all sorts of adaptations for wheelchairs, obviously you can buy wheelchairs as well. Um, the only thing for me is that my wheelchair is a wheelchair services wheelchair so I can't just like adapt it, it needs to be through wheelchair services. But I have found out some interesting things. Um, now I knew that I have a wheelchair, personal wheelchair budget if you have it from wheelchair services. Um, now I've always been told my chair there is a Quickie Salsa M. Um, and it has a tilt, so for my pots. Um, but I've always been told by wheelchair services I couldn't get a riser um, because it reclines. But I've been told and shown today that doesn't, that's not true. It's very specific chairs, and yes, you would have to pay the extra, or maybe it depends on your wheelchair services. Um, and also, my foot plates are, I hate these ones, I get so many bruises on my leg from them. And there are loads of other ones that I was told weren't, didn't exist, like, so now I know. Um, so there was that, and it was just really good. I had, um, there was an orthotics uh, stall, which I've been waiting two years for my orthotics from the NHS, and I haven't even had an appointment yet. So this was a private clinic in Surrey that does a gait assessment and then sees, because like for me, can't just give me AFOs because then I have issues with my knees and hips too and the guy was amazing and was like you need to correct the whole thing and that's true and he knew what EDS was so that's always good um there were tons and tons of stools a lot of them I you know weren't appropriate for my needs um but there were lots of things like um companies for catheters and stoma bags uh people with sight problems people with service dogs uh people who use active wheelchairs or sports wheelchairs there was hundreds of stools. Um, the only downside for me was there was a lot of stools missing. I don't know if it's because they're only there tomorrow because it's Wednesday today. Um, but Remap weren't there, who I was hoping to see. Uh, they're the charity that are trying to figure out my piano pedal issues. Um, there was uh, there was a hemp company not there uh, and a couple of others. Um, but what was great for me is that there were so many people in wheelchairs there um, that you kind of, people who weren't in wheelchairs were the odd ones out and there were all sorts of disabilities and you just felt really included and normal and um, yeah, it was just really, really good. Um, the weird thing was that I know the NEC is generally like all the halls are the same, they just have stands in for each event, but this is a disability wheelchair type event and there was one just one disabled toilet like literally one there was no changing places the disabled toilet was okay in size but it wasn't great um, and there was a huge queue of us waiting there was probably about seven or eight of us um, at any one time and you'd think that they would realize that in advance and possibly I don't know get some kind of portable wheelchair accessible toilets maybe or something but there was just nothing um, and there also for me the other issue was the availability of any food for allergy sufferers um, I did look in advance and assumed it would be fine but the restaurant literally had like two dishes one was fish and chips and one was like 
some kind of korma or something, um, neither of which were either vegetarian or vegan. Um, and they had cakes and stuff, none of those were vegan. And then the cafe, they had, the only thing they had was vegan sausage rolls, but they were sold out. So I ended up going to Subway, um, which there were no signs for it, but I figured out it was upstairs and got myself a sub and they do vegan stuff there and yeah. Um, so that was it really. Um, I went round, I had a look at the stalls, I've got some cards and stuff, so um, when I get home I might post that at the end to so some things to recommend, um, especially uh, the other good thing is obviously people were testing out products and also when they went to the loo they would just get out of their wheelchairs um, if they're like ambulantly disabled so you can walk a little bit <laughs> and that was such a relief because you don't get stared at, you don't get questioned like oh my god you know why you're out your chair so that was good. Um, so yeah, so Nadex I would say is good. I was originally going to go for both days and stay over. I'm so glad I didn't because I only live an hour and a half away from Birmingham and I literally was done in about two or three hours. Um, so I could have probably spent a bit, little bit longer but it was very busy and there were queues of people to look at stuff at the stalls and you know demonstrations and I just couldn't be bothered to wait. I thought I'll just get their card and look online. Um, that kind of thing but um yeah huge mix of things highly recommend going even if it's just for the experience of to feel like you're included finally in an event um but yeah i will be feeling back to nadex about the lack of disabled toilets because that was a massive problem um you even had people who weren't in wheelchairs who were um you know there was a lady who had parkinson she needed help getting to the toilet but she could walk and there was just nothing for that so that was a bit of a letdown but other than that good day um and i'll post the links now of the things i find useful